So the mambo song we'll be playing, right? So we'll be like, hey, hey mambo, mambo Italiano, hey, hey mambo, mambo Italiano, go go go. You mixed up a Siciliano, all you Calabrese do the mambo like a crazy with the hey mambo. Don't wanna tarantala, hey hey mambo, no more. Welcome back to the kitchen. It's me, Avocado Mama, here to cook for you this evening spaghetti squash boats. They're nice and hefty and large and voluptuous. And they are delicious. So, here's the thing about spaghetti squash. It rocks. Spaghetti squash is amazing because it has no carbs. Holla! And it's just like spaghetti. Well, it's not just like spaghetti, but it's a great replacement. Okay, so today is going to be awesome. We're going to learn two things. One, well, we're going to learn hopefully more than two, but the two main parts of this episode are going to be how to make your own tomato sauce because to make your own tomato sauce is a beautiful thing because a lot of the canned tomato sauces have a lot of sodium and a lot of added sugar, which if you didn't see our last episode when we made... <laughs> what did we make? Guys, what did we make? What did we make? We made... Oh, we made chili cheese fries. We talked about the sugar and how important it is to monitor how much sugar you're getting in your diet. So, um, but most importantly, the salt. There's a lot of sodium and there can also be a lot of preservatives in there and like just, yeah, not good stuff. So, yeah, bad, bad news. And the thing is, it's so easy to make your own tomato sauce. And it's fun because once you figure out the base of it, like all my recipes, you can add your own pizzazz. Pizzazz, 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 pizzazz. Okay, third one, here we go, here we go. <laughs> but the other portion of this recipe, which is awesome, is learning about spaghetti squash. So the first part is making your own tomato sauce. Second part is spaghetti squash noodles are a measure. You could do like vegan cheese and do like a cheese bake thing with these noodles. You could do sauce like this. You can make your own like avocado pesto sauce and put it with that. Like this is awesome. It's awesome. There's no, no other way to slice it. No other way to slice it. <laughs> now it's time to make the tomato sauce. So what we're going to do is cut all of our tomatoes up as you see in big chunks because it doesn't matter if they're small or large because they all are going to crush down into a saucy um, material anyway. For the base, for the actual sauce itself, to just make plain tomato sauce, you're going to need tomatoes, chopped up onions, garlic, basil, oregano and thyme. We got all the time you need, baby. We've got tomato paste and olive oil. And that's it. Oh, and spinach. Okay, so the way that this tomato sauce works is you're gonna chop your tomatoes up into chunks because when you let it simmer for a long time, it's gonna become um, saucy. So, <laughs> saucy is one of my favorite words. When you make your sauce, you need the basics are just going to be tomatoes, tomato paste, garlic, oregano, thyme. Like that's how you make just a plain sauce. Sometimes I make my tomato sauces with like extra, like I do bell pepper, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, everything. I put any vegetable that I have in there because why not get all the servings of vegetables that you can in your tomato sauce? Like, why not? Like, really, why not? So, let's begin the sauce. So you're gonna need a big pan like this, and here's a quick tip. What you should do with your pans. So, going like this and leaving it on full heat like that, like high heat, full heat, high heat, is not necessary and it's honestly burning the bottom of your pan and it burns your food faster. Here's what you should be doing. Turn your, turn the heat down to like medium 
just enough where it's evenly going to distribute heat through the pan enough to cook your food thoroughly and not like burn the outsides a lot of times when you have the heat on super high like that and you throw your veggies in and then you eat them and they're like raw kind of but there's but you're like wait but they were like burning and the pan was like you know um losing moisture and like and uh getting super overheated that's because your your pan is too hot like leave it on low let it let it heat evenly and then you're good to go so oh, just cracked this baby open now i'm just gonna put enough olive oil to cover a little bit of the surface of the pan and let it run through there like that and then what i'm gonna do is take my onions Here's another tip about um, cooking. When you walk in a room and someone just made food, what are usually the two things that you can smell in the room that you're like, oh my God, that smells so good. It's usually garlic and it's usually onion. So those are the two things that we're gonna heat up in the pan first, just because um, it they, cause they smell, they're just, um, they're very, um, What's that one word? Evervescent? F fluorescent? F fluorescent? It's okay. Evanescence. It's evanescence. That's what the word is. <laughs> How can you see into my eyes? Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Here we go. Throw that in there. Pour the tomatoes in there. So now what you're gonna do is add the tomato paste. Cool. I used most of this. So right now we're getting all of the flavors to mix together and then we're gonna turn the pan on very low heat, like what's it called, a simmer. We're gonna simmer it up. So I'm gonna mash all this stuff up. Just get it like cooking, stir it around a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's already smelling good. And then I'm gonna start to add my seasonings. So I have some oregano, just gonna like open that up. I'm gonna do some thyme. Fresh as, little as, cute as, adorable as basil. Sink in with the moisture. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Salt and cover it up. And now we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 to more. 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna cover his ears because I don't want him to hear this. But it's time to open up the spaghetti squash. <laughs> Timmy. You're sick. We gotta take you. But mama, I'm only a child. Please, please mama. Timmy, I have to take you now. It's time to go. Please, don't do this to me. I never said it was easy, this job that we do. I don't, I don't know how else to get around this. There's no really like easy way to cut a spaghetti squash. Like usually I just chop at it like this and make a big mess. But I wish that there was an easy way. Maybe I should have YouTube that. If you're a YouTuber out there and you're watching this and you made a video about it, holla at your girl. I usually just saw back and forth. She like a savage. It is hard to open these, you guys. I never said it was easy. Well, I'm almost there now. Okay, perfect. So now, we're pretty much there. We just gotta get it open. So close though. There we go, okay. Ready? It's a beautiful baby spaghetti squash. 
Hey mambo, mambo italiano, hey mambo, listi italiano. Bit too pachi pidi pari. Okay, we did it. That was like rough. It's hard to open those, but I think what I just learned right now is it's easier to do it with a small a knife that you're more in control of than it is to do it with like a big, blah, 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 like loose one. So now we need a spoon and we're gonna get the seeds out of here. Poor Jimmy, never stood a chance. Now here we are gutting his insides. We're gonna put these in there like this. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and just drizzle it in and out of there. Just enough to like cover it a little bit. But you don't wanna like a ton of oil. You don't need a ton of oil. It'll cook regardless. You just want a little bit so it retains the moisture from it. And then I just take my spoon and like spread it out a little bit. We're putting them in the oven. And then we're gonna bake cook time at 40 minutes. Here we go. The sauce sits like that for about 15 minutes. You can keep checking on it and keep continuously like pushing the tomatoes down in and making it more of a saucy texture. It's looking more soupy right now. Eventually it'll get thick and saucy. Like me. <laughs> That's it. That's all for now. That's all for now. We back. And guess what? Come on over to the sauce and check it out. Check it out, guys. It's thick. It's saucy. And it is delicious looking. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh. -huh. So now what I'm going to do is, now that it's like pretty much ready and it's like really hot in there, I don't know if you guys know this about spinach, but if there's spinach in a recipe, I put the spinach in last because it cooks so fast and sometimes it overcooks because you put it in too early in a recipe. It can be gross. And I'm just gonna add it in. We're still waiting about 10 more minutes on that and then the spaghetti squash will be ready for us. Hey, mambo, mambo italiano. So the alarm went off on the stove. Wow. Here's what we do. Make sure that we're double armed so we don't get burnt. So we're just gonna get this a little bit mixed in and moving around. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. We're gonna take our pasta sauce Give it a go in there, a go in here. And then look, we even have extra pasta sauce probably, which is dope. Make a pizza. Now what I'm gonna do is just mix this all up in there. Blended. <laughs> and then let's go back over to the cutting board because I got one of my favorite brands, Miyoko's. It's honestly the best vegan cheese I've ever had. It's plant-based. I'm gonna cut this. I'm just gonna have a little bite. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just lay some cheese down. Use whatever cheese you want, you guys. Whatever you can get your hands on. If you're not a vegan, I mean, you should be, but <laughs> if you're not, use whatever cheese you want. Okay. Can we go? And no, we're gonna put it back in. Uh, we're gonna put it in for five more minutes. Just enough to heat it up. Just enough so that the cheese is gonna melt. It's time. Oh my gosh! You guys, look at this. This is insane. So, like always, in every recipe, shout out to Domino's. Thank you, Domino's. Red pepper seasoning. I love you. This is our sh jam.
I'm really excited to try it, but it's too hot. <laughs> Yeah, we ended up keeping the spaghetti squash in a little longer than I previously set it for. So instead of um, 40 minutes, I would do an, about an hour. <laughs> I'm so happy with how they turned out. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to just get in there with some spaghetti. Oh, my God. What do you need to do? Timmy? Timmy? <laughs> Every episode I feel embarrassed because I'm like, I can't believe that this worked. <laughs> I did it, it worked. But it's so good. It's so creamy and like filling and delicious and healthy. I'm so happy. High five to us. Give me a high five. <laughs> Too involved in the eating. Hey, hey Mambo, Mambo Italiano. Hey, hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano. Go, go, go. You mixed up a Sisliano. All you calabrese do the Mambo like a crazy with it.